Okay. A lot of you love the things I write. A lot of you have been worried about me. Shit, I've been worried about myself. Let me not lie. Tonight, I did one of the hardest things I ever thought possible. I told someone earlier today that no one really prepares you for giving birth to your adult. The prize for long hours of labor and months of pregnancy is coming home with the love of your life. The reward for setting them free is a lifetime of wondering if you love them enough to know that they will always love you or that you will always love them that you are forever matched and that nothing can break that no time no space no distance what i can tell you about dropping my firstborn off at college and setting up his room is that i have never been more spectacularly proud of my child than i am tonight some of you know that he has had some big challenges this year. And like a phoenix, he has risen strong and powerful from the ashes. And the look on his face when we first drove into the city tonight made me cry to first tears of joy. This child came into my life, and I think for like so many of us, they fill spaces that you never knew you needed filled. They challenge us, they make us better. They need us, we need them. It is the most beautiful, brutal, frustrating, joyful, fulfilling experience in the world to mother our children. And I know that I am not done mothering him. I know that it's just a new level. I know that it will look spectacular and amazing. I know that we will text and we will take advantage of technology and tonight I know that that literally means absolutely nothing to my tears. My eyes are barely open. I've slept 36 minutes in about 48 hours. I haven't been able to eat a meal since Saturday. I've been living on saltines and Gatorade and emotion. That's what we do. We set up his room. We said some final words. We laughed some pretty good laughs last night while we finished the packing. We hugged pretty hard. But I have always said that Jamel is the best decision I ever made in my life. Not one single doubt have I ever had that he was the perfect child for me, that he was supposed to be here, and that we have been all we could be together. And tonight, as I watched him, and as I walked through this city, I know he is where he is supposed to be. And I hope that all of us that are in this season, I hope that we all find that peace. I hope that we all find that joy. I hope that when we look at them as we drop them off, that their excitement, their enthusiasm, their full readiness 
to come into their own is enough to switch the tears to happy ones even if only for a few moments the spaces in me feel like they are breaking into a million little pieces as if all of the glue that he was that coursed through my veins has just suddenly shattered and disintegrated and left me different better maybe hopefully but different and for the first time in Elijah's life he gets to be the only focus he gets to be the only child and that new chapter I'm very excited about I am so grateful for all of the beautiful women in my life I have well loved you guys And you know who you are if you are my rock stars. You know who you are if you are wrangling my angry hound. If you send me words that speak to my soul. If you taunt me with flying human birds. If you love me. If I know that I could call you and you would sit on the other end of the phone and listen to me cry until I stopped. Or that you would come break down my door because you were worried that I was lying on the floor of my closet in a million little pieces today. I am loved. As I often say, I may not have had sisters. God knows I haven't missed my mom this much in years. But that woman has orchestrated one hell of a fine team of women from all walks of life that give me wisdom and hope and laughter and encouragement. They are my yaya yeah, yeah sisterhood. They are the divine secret. I love all of you so much. And I love all of you that have loved my boy. Keep on loving him. It's a big city. 